Hello viewers, welcome to Ajade Math Class. Today, we shall continue with our series on statistics for beginners. So today, we are going to work on the variance and standard deviation for the unglued data. So in our previous video, we've been able to work on the mid deviation for the ungroup data. So today, we shall continue with the variance and the standard deviation. Like I told you, if we are talking about the variance and the standard deviation, this is just looking at the um, square difference of members from the mean of the data, you know, the deviation from the mean of the data. So today, I'm going to give you the formula for the variance. So the first formula, if it is the population variance, we can use sigma square. Okay? We use this to represent what a variance is. So it's going to be summation x minus x bar, almost the same thing with the mean deviation we did in the last class, squared over n. So the n is the number of what? Observation. Okay? And um, in this case, alternatively, you can use another method for the but for the sample variance in which we are going to work on today, we can have x squared to be equals to summation x minus x bar all squared all over n minus 1. So the only difference between these two is that here our n decreases by 1. So that's what we are going to work on today. So for this, we can have this in this form. Or alternatively, it can be written as summation x squared over n minus x bar or square. Don't forget our s bar is the mean. So we are going to use these two formulas to solve our example given here. So here we are told that given the following data set 35787, find the variance and also the standard deviation. Yeah, before I proceed, don't forget also that when we talk about the word standard deviation, our standard deviation, I'm going to use STD to represent that, is the same thing as the square root of variance. So whatsoever you get for your variance, just find the square root. So that is equivalent to our standard deviation. Now for us to do this now, um, the first thing we are going to do, since we are calculating the variance, so our variance is going to be, um, let me use S square, yeah? It's going to be, let's use the first formula, x minus x bar, all squared over n minus 1. So we need to calculate our s bar first. So calculating our s bar, which is the mean. In our previous video, we've shown how to calculate our mean. So that means addition of everything over the number of observations. And that's going to be 3 plus 5 plus 7 plus 8 plus 7. So we're dividing everything by number of observation, which is 5. So this is going to give us 30 over 5. And our mean is going to be 6. So now making use of the formula here, which is summation of x minus x bar. So our variance will now be equals to our x. That means the each of the observation minus the mean. So here we are going to have the first observation, which is 3 minus 6 all squared plus the next observation which is 5 minus 6 all squared plus the third observation 7 minus 6 all squared plus the fourth one 8 minus 6 all squared plus the last one which is 7 minus 6 all squared okay we are dividing everything by our um, n, which is what? Which is 5. So let's use of the um, population variance. So I'm going back to this. So that means instead of using n minus 1, I'm going to use this in this case because here we assume that we are working with population, not the sample in this case because the question does not indicate whether it is sample. So we regard our information given as the population, as the population. So solving this now, here we are going to have 3 minus 6 all squared is going to give me 9 plus um, 1 plus 1 
plus 4 plus 1 all over 5 and this is going to give me 16 over 5 which is equivalent to 3.2 and um, mind you don't forget that from here our standard deviation that is for our variance right so here calculating our standard deviation is the same thing as saying the square root of our variance and um, don't forget our variance here is 3.2 so this is the same thing as saying square root of 3.2 so our standard deviation in this case is going to be um, 1.79 so this is the for, for the first um, method this is for the first method using the second method which um, has been given to us here to calculate so we are going to make use of this second formula to calculate our variance so here we have our variance to be equals to summation x squared over n minus x bar squared so we want to check if you are going to get the same answer for this so here we need to know our summation x squared first and um, since the summation x squared equals that means each of the observation square each of the observation that is 3 5 7 8 7 we are squaring each of it is going to be 3 squared plus 5 squared plus 7 squared plus 8 squared plus 7 squared so this is, a, is summation of our x squared and um, that is going to give me 196 okay and don't forget our s bar square so in this case now our variance my variance here is going to be summation x squared which is 196 over 5 which is the number of observation minus s bar or square and my x bar in this case from here my s bar is 6 so minus 6 squared so this is going to be 196 over 5 minus 36 so solving this further i'm going to get 3.2 so calculating the standard deviation also is still going to be square root of 3.2 which is going to be what 1.79 so this is the for the standard deviation and also for the variance of what of um on group data before I leave, I have to tell you this. This can be extended to when you have frequency of number. So that is, our variance, when frequency is involved, can be equal to summation f, okay, in two bracket, x minus x bar, all squared, all over summation f. So that's the only difference. Instead of using n here, we are going to use f and um, f here too. So those are the two um, formula that we have in this case, okay? So you can um, use this to solve this as a classwork and put the answer in the comment section such that when you have x and we have f, we have 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. And we have the frequency to be 3, 2, 4, 1, 2. So I want you to use this to calculate the variance and also the standard deviation. Don't forget that, that the standard deviation is just going to be the square root of our variance, which is summation f into bracket x minus s bar all squared over summation.